All right, so it's 1821 p.m. and it is Sunday evening. And I got an About Me video, but it's more of a misc shit video too, but About Me more. So, uh, this is an idea I came up with over the past week. And I meant to do it and kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off out of fear because I'm stupid. So, this is an idea for a worldwide adoption agency, a.k.a. global adoption, a adoption agency. Yeah. But I'm going with global because it sounds better. So, <clears throat> what this would be is, all, it's basically the United Nations coming together and everybody involved <coughs> would ha let you be adopted and stuff. You could, you know, go wherever you want to and apply to them and shit. Here's some of the stats with this that I came up with. To apply, deep background checks going all the way back to your ancestral roots done by all governments, NSA, KGB, CIA, FBI, Secret Service, and dark web associations. To really, like, going all the way back through your shit and going back to what the fuck you ate, like, 30 years ago or so. That kind of shit. So, and it's transparent. So, they know about you, and you can also know about them as well, wherever you apply. Um, I know people don't like having their privacy invaded and shit, but fuck it. If you want to apply somewhere and be adopted by a different country, gotta have transparency. Residency provided for three, six, or 12 months. Yeah, that's fun. Passport renewal required and application for citizenship required within the first week. Like, if you're there for the first week, you know, and you're having a good time, you know, you got to apply for citizenship just to get the ball rolling. Not. Um, and residency would be provided by whatever country you're going to for three, three months, six months, or a year depending on how long you stay. That's how it works. Job opportunities laid out based on your resume, measuring your strengths and talents, because everybody's got strengths and talents. Match payment or pay raise based on credentials and where you go. Sounds fair. I like fairness. Sometimes. <laughs> Um, and I, I think about that because there's a lot of places where, you know, you're doing good in one place, but if you go somewhere else, you get paid a lot better. Like an example, this was, um, Dina was going to work at the hospital in Westminster for, as a boiler room mechanic. And it would have been a massive cut in his current pay. But he would have been local. He would have been nearby, so he wouldn't have to travel so far. So, yeah. <laughs> he's happy where he's at. He ain't gonna work at the hospital. Fuck that. Uh, but it would have been... It would have been... It's something he considered last decade because he was getting tired of traveling so fucking far. So, I don't blame him. Um, extra job training provided if needed applies to armed forces too. Yeah, like if you have... Job training, if you've been in a job for, let's say, five years, and, you know, you've got five years of skills under your belt, and you go to, say, Egypt or some shit, and they have the same job, and they can give you even more training that'll bring you up to speed so you're basically a 10-year vet or a 15-year vet of your profession. That's pretty cool. Or they can show you stuff that'll give you extra shortcuts that speed up production and shit in your job. That's not bad. First visit anywhere, wherever you go, is fully covered by the country. Future visits, you gotta pay out of pocket. Only fair. Um, and I, I like I'm I did this. It was a lot of fairness and a lot of like yeah. There's gotta be stipulations too. But I figure if you go somewhere first time to check it out and see if you want to be there, just like one visit, that's fair that they could cover that. Because shit, it depends on when you go. Because there's off-season, on-season. Off-season, 
Some shit's really cheap, flight-wise. Sometimes it's higher. Being fair. Moving expenses are negotiable, but you gotta deal with TSA restrictions. Yeah. You can move where the fuck you want, and it's negotiable, but you gotta deal with TSA. Yeah. I found this out, um... The TSA part from Bella. Because she had a friend who actually... Had issues with TSA over swords. Yeah. Some swords this dude could bring into the country. Others were actually prohibited from entering the country. So he had to leave some of his stuff behind. Bummer. So, you know, you got to keep that shit in mind. <clears throat> oh, come on. Translators and religious tutors provided free so you can learn their culture and customs. This way you're not being a disrespectful asshole and ignorant and be like, I don't know what your religion is. I don't get it. Uh, your religious ben beliefs. I almost said benefits. <laughs> your religious benefits. <laughs> yeah, let me give you a packet of water from the spigot. <sighs> Are taken into account, but don't factor into applying. Same for politics unless a country specifies it. Yeah. Because I don't dabble in religion and politics, but I figured, fuck it, I'll throw it in there. Um, but yeah, having translators and religious tutors for free, that's super helpful. Especially if you want to convert, or if you just want to learn the culture itself. Or if you're studying it. It's fun too. Based on academic level, students can finish their degree early in whatever country while still studying abroad. Tuition and travel fees vary. And if you've got student debt, that can be forgiven too, depending on where you go. Yeah, because I know a lot of everybody likes to travel and study abroad for whatever reason. Or they want to get as many extra credits as they can. So it's like whatever your student debt is too... If you can't, like, if you're in the U.S., you know, most of that's forgiven. If you go somewhere else, you know, it's partially taken care of. If you go to another place, you have more. It, just, it depends on where the fuck you go. You go to fucking Hogwarts, you don't gotta pay tuition. <laughs> Social media status. This one I had a great time with. Will be taken into account, but you will be treated just like a regular person. It's for you upper echelon cocksuckers who like to flaunt your shit. <laughs> but everybody in general. But mainly upper echelon. Yeah. Based on your whole influence, countries can ban you from applying solely on your actions or restrict your reach. Yeah. Social media status don't mean dick with this agency. Because I think about this a lot, because everybody's like, oh, I want to be an influencer when I grow up, or they're already an influencer, and like, oh, I can do whatever the fuck I want, I'm so cool, mm-hmm, I get away with everything. No, this agency, bitch. <laughs> and they look into everything, past and present, <laughs> and they have full access, too. <laughs> And that even means me, too. So they'll see all my food and all your shit. Like, These motherfuckers are crazy. We not let them in our country. And the other country. Hey, come on over. We like dicks with chicks, too. Sweet. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. Gotta be fair. You can't, you know, be like, Oh, I have 10,000 million followers and shit. And I deserve to be in this agency. You can the fuck I want. One, you suck at counting. Two, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> God. And restricting your reach, that's smart too. Gotta, because you, I'm thinking about China. No, not China, North Korea. I'm thinking about Korea and shit and China. Because they, they have that controlled shit. Yeah. <laughs> And they base it on your actions, too. So if you've done something stupid, like, say, I don't know, prank the homeless, throw out random slurs, or if you're just a total dickhead and a cunt, 
dickheaded cunt? Cunty twat? <laughs> or just the general prick? You're not allowed in. <laughs> Vehicles you own may have to stay where you are. Or at a friend's place unless you absolutely need it. Because, you know, vehicles weigh a lot of fucking pounds. And that's a lot of money to pay to travel that shit. Uh, wherever you apply, country can price match the value of your vehicles and provide transportation suitable to your needs. Fairness, again. Because I think about it, like, you had a car, I think the average car is like, what, 2,000 pounds? And if you have a shit ton of them... And you want to travel. That's also that's adding in the gas weight too. So I forget how much that would be. So it'd be like two thousand something pounds altogether, plus the gas weight. <coughs> um, you got a that's a lot of money. <laughs> Because then you're using, then you have to rent shipping containers. And then you have to find a boat that will ship that shit. And then you've got to pay the dock master. Then you have to pay the captain. Then you have to find the right route and everything. And hope to God your shit doesn't sink at sea. Unless you want to have it flown by helicopter and shit, then that's even more money. Because then you're paying the pilot, the fuel cost, the co-pilot. Uh, border fee. Oh, yes, border fees. Yeah, expensive, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the fee registration yet. <laughs> oh, my. Depending on where you apply, that's a good one. Healthcare expenses you owe will be, re will be covered or reduced by that country. So... If you apply to Canada, New Zealand, or wherever else has universal health care, boom, you're covered and forgiven. No health care expenses. But if you go to a country that doesn't have universal health care, then only part of it will be covered. And you'll still have to pay a premium. Yeah, fucking sucks. Uh, weapons. For all you gun tote motherfuckers out in Texas. I have to go, yeah, we're going to get us some niggers today. Bam, 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 bam. They have to stay where they are for safety reasons. And because TSA restrictions, weapons, unless specified by them or the country you're applying to. Going back to swords and shit. So, yeah, guns, I got to stay home. Swords, knives, yeah. Yep, fun times. Even grenades, bullets. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, how else? What was that last year? I think TSA uncovered. No, that yeah, they uncovered. I think like six thousand guns going through the airport security system. <laughs> Damn, y'all motherfuckers are nuts. <sighs> so that's fun. Pets. Pets have to be checked before travel. Only fair. If they haven't had a checkup or shots, they can't travel. Applies to all animals. Yeah. You gotta have your pets up to date if they want to travel. Duh. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. If you or kids haven't had a checkup or all shots, you can't apply till you have. I know people are against COVID vaccine, but honestly, if you're going to another country and hiding behind religious beliefs as an excuse, it's pathetic. I can't do COVID. It goes against my religion. <laughs> What's your religion? <laughs> the Kardashians. <laughs> They'll never do it. <laughs> Bitch, they're fake and plastic. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, though, like, Plus, you're introducing yourself to a new environment that you haven't been exposed to. Better safe than sorry. I mean, if I applied to this and I was going to Spain and, you know, you go somewhere new, I would want to be fully protected with shots and shit. I'd rather have all my shots and shit 
then sit there and bitch and moan about how it's against, it's going against my personal rights, my civil rights, my body, my rules. I mean, come on, give me a fucking break. That, <laughs> my body, my rights only applies to fucking sexual assault and shit, not fucking shots. Get tested. Get your fucking shots so you can go places. Otherwise, you end up not going anywhere. And you're sitting there looking like a dumbass crying about bullshit. So, application fees. Application fee is $100. That's fair. Three months stay is $150. Six months stay, $250. One year is $500. And that's pretty, that's, to me, that's kind of fair. Because you're going somewhere overseas or down south or up north. Yeah. It's only fair. Permanent residence is a grand. So that's why going back to the residential stays that are covered. If you really want to stay there, put money back. That way you're good to go. Countries can offer discounts based on your backgrounds. Yeah, your whole background check and shit. Like, if they find you favorable, they can offer you a discount on the shit. That's fair. If not, well, fuck you. LGBT rights are recognized and upheld, though some restrictions might apply depending on where you choose. Because some countries like to persecute the fuck out of gays and lesbians and everybody else in the book. Yeah. Fun. And I find that shit stupid, ironic, and funny. The f- this Because I have dark humor. Bear with me. I find it incredibly funny. And I know it's not funny at all. It's wrong as hell. That... I forget what country it was, but they, if they, they found out one of their women was a lesbian, their idea is to rape her and that will make her straight again. That'll get rid of lesbianism in her. No, it don't. That just gives her fucking PTSD. Distrust (laughs) increases her depression, makes her fucking afraid ruins her for life, uh, confuses her body even more, and instills fear forever. Yeah, that don't help shit. Still a lesbian? She's not gonna be straight. That doesn't help at all. (sighs) That'd be like the opposite if a bunch of women gang raped a man, a gay man, into being straight. Same principle applies. No, it don't. Yes, it fucking does. It's the same fucking thing. It's rape. Uh, uh, but yeah, some restrictions apply. Sucks, but true. Pending court decisions have to be resolved before applying. That's only fair if you have outstanding warrants, tickets. Because... <laughs> A lot of you like the speed, like your Paul Walker, and you're not, because he's on my Xbox dashboard, dead. <laughs> um, what else was there? Oh yeah, child care payments. Because a lot of you like to stick it in, abandon the child after it's born. Yeah, so you need to pay that shit. Before you can apply. If you don't pay, you can't apply. Disability, pension benefits, and insurance. All insurance. Carry over without issue, no matter where you apply. Same goes for armed forces. So if you're in the armed forces and you want to transfer, because you transfer like a motherfucker. um, Yeah, all your shit goes with you. No issue. Simple shit. Uh, currency transfer is instantaneous. However, if you have funds, assets over 10k, they gotta be counted. 
for, yeah, they're going to be accounted for by the combined treasuries of where you're from and where you're going to. Yeah. So if you have assets in the U.S. that are over 10000 and you're applying to, say, uh, I don't know, India, spitballing, I don't know. India, Russia, who or whatever, Asia, I don't know. Both them treasury departments would go over your funds to make sure every penny is there. Only fair. Uh, flight risk status is a factor in applying. Duh. <laughs> Some countries will deny you right away. Others might consider lifting it for a fee. But remains in place if you're denied. So, there's a loophole, but if you get denied, it stays in place. Because I know a lot of you dumbasses are flight risks for whatever fucking reason. Whether you're a Karen, <laughs> or a Kyle. <laughs> God. And the last thing I came up with, because I couldn't rack my brain for anything else. Special needs and people who need service animals get a separate flight exclusively for them and tailored to tailored for their individual needs because I know a lot of special needs folks. I am a special needs person, so is my sister. Oh my. So yeah, a specialty flight that helps you and is tailored to you. That's pretty cool. So that is what I've got for the Global Adoption Agency that I came up with. It's interesting, it's fun, it's creative. <laughs> if I miss something, let me know, and I'll rehash out ideas for it in the comments. <laughs> so, yeah. Till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.